A lot of people call this the Dr. Seuss house. First of all, nobody asked Dr. Seuss for permission to do that. They refer to that because of some of the um, ideas that Dr. Seuss had. I think he was a genius, and I think he did a lot of good for the world. I try and write poetry, and I kind of think of this as a poem to the sky. I am Philip Paul Widener. I'm the owner and builder of Goose Creek Tower. I went to MIT, and I'm kind of a frustrated architect, so I like building. I just designed it out of my head. We didn't have blueprints. We drew it out on cardboard, plywood, just as we were going. What I'm gonna end up doing eventually is put some hooks there and hang pots and pans off them, because this is the kitchen. I started to build a 40 by 40 scribe log cabin, and I realized I could put pillars on top and put another house on top of house. And then I just kept going. We got to 185 feet and we stopped because um, 200 feet is federal airspace. Now I just have to finish it out. This is pretty much the last real stairs. There are multiple levels in there and I've tried to count them and it's just impossible. It depends how you count stories. I wanted to be able to see. And that's the reason I went up. You can actually see for um, at least 300 miles. And of course, um, when the northern lights are out, you can really see. I hope that Goose Creek Tower will inspire other people uh, to do worthwhile things, not just in building, but whatever they do with their life. And every time I go up there, it's a different experience. Kind of gives you a sense of the uh, enormity of the universe. <laughs>